Hello everybody and welcome back to the English Spyro Let's Play. I'm really not used to say that yet. I mean, it's a second video, so whatever. Last time I wrapped up Stonehill and the homeworld and explained a few things. Now, if you end, if you exit a level or if you go near these frogs, these frog people, I know, I don't know what to call them aside that because uh, they are frogs they have long legs and for some reason the music was completely completely out I think it was because I exited the level and pressed the start button to pause the game oh alive alive extra life extra life important stuff I think it was because uh, I paused the game before the music set, set in it probably took a moment. I might test it out on other home worlds as well. Now we are really going to play the flight level Sunny Flight. <clears throat> if you unlock it and don't play it, uh, the gate will close again, so yeah. This is a bonus level we can play and you are not meant to find it this early, but you can, which is awesome. Many games do it like, oh, you can't find this level now. You could technically enter it now, but, or find it now, but I don't want you to. No. You cannot go at least halfway through the game until we tell you it exists and only then you can use it. That's so dumb design. And I like Spyro for not doing such a thing. And oh shit, I stopped. Shit, I stopped again. Why? Why? Yeah, yeah, I can forget it. And this is just it. This is kind of a different collector one. But every time we collect eight a piece, eight a piece is all from one thing we can. Every time we get eight a piece, we get 60 gems for it. And if we manage to find everything, not at once, but everything, you are going to have 240 gems. Now there's still 60 missing, and that's the bonus for getting them all in one go in the time limit. If you do that, you unlock more or less time trial mode, where the time isn't running backwards, it's forwards, and you can just play it. Whoa. That guy was important, that was a double. Anyway, you can play for the best time. Basically a speedrun of this level, if you will. I mean, this is kind of a speedway. The later games call it speedways. For now, it's just flight levels because those break a little away from the usual platformy, the usual glide and run sequences you have in the other levels. You, have, you don't have to defeat any enemies here that, ca that could harm you. There's no harm here instead uh, aside the water. Of course, this dragon can't swim yet. It's so small it can't swim. It doesn't have its... It's... It's... Uh, bags with air around its arms. These baby wings or what you call them. And yeah, so this was a short experience and it's almost almost every time pretty much fun to play these because they are different from the rest of the game. Now, where do I go next? Oh yeah, I do go now to the Dark Hollow. Because it's the Dark Hollow. I collected nothing and I will get nothing because that's how it works. Okay, for some reason Spyro does a weird landing on this in some levels like this one. And um, I talked about the emulated Spyro disc I, ha I had on my PC. Yeah, uh, th this guy has blood on his knife and the PAL version doesn't have that. It just has a regular knife. I don't call this a sword. Uh, I don't call this a sword. It's way too short. 
And if he doesn't hold the shield, you can burn them. If not, you have to charge them like I do, I'm do. i doing right now. And you can jump while charging. Some people don't know that, or, or many people don't know that. Let's say that. Yeah, these guys have metal armor in front as well. I know metal is something really weird on the PlayStation 1. Its reflections are... I don't know how to call that. It's not, e it's not even real reflect reflections yet. I guess it's just a moving texture or something. Anyway, these guys can only be fired from behind. The guy who was basically shouting at me just told me fire doesn't work. Then he turns around and fire does work. Hmm. Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. You know what's weird? That dragon was really jittery. Like, he was made of a lot more small polygons and because the PlayStation was a little bit limited to that time, um, they made the polygons just stutter around so the polygon count doesn't go oversize. And it just looks weird. Like, really weird. Now, these frogs with the little knives aren't the only ones with a little bit of censorship. In Town Square, there are bulls that have the pointy ends of their horns red. And yes, I have the key. I forgot at that point I have the key. And in the PAL version, the, the horns of these bulls are just grey, like the rest of it. Now, big guys usually need to be burned. Burned them all. Motherfucker burn. And this guy will tell us it won't work. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. I was a dumb kid back then because I used to think that guy was Spyro's father. Just because he was all purple. The probably only purple dragon aside Spyro himself. So you, you could see, you can make these shields go hard, but you would never hurt anyone with fire alone if they have a metal armor like that. Also, these poles, I, I, found them I found them just funny. Because of the squeaking sound it does when the lantern shakes around. I just... I don't know. Something dumb is funny. But nowadays, yeah, I think I was really dumb at school. I was really a dumb boy. And there was no fix to it. Just simply none. Now if the camera is still blurry, uh, if the game is a little bit blurry, that has two reasons. One, this is a PlayStation Network version. So it might be laggy at points when you have much to view. It might be blurry because of a PlayStation 3. That's not entirely right because I have a PlayStation 3 connected to a TV card inside my computer. And not a super HD, super sharp device like the Extreme Cap U3 I use for PlayStation 4. Big enemies like this Gnork with a club cannot be charged. But a quick flame, that should defeat them. Now I don't know much about uh, other ver other PAL versions, other languages of this game, but I do believe the entirety of a PAL version has Darius talk while no music. Some dragons have that, some don't, some have the wrong music altogether. And a later level, um, what's, what's its name again? Uh, High Caves, I was. I believe is one 
that has a remix of Treetops instead of its own original theme. And that kinda sucks. Now the Dark Hollow is all wrapped up. Let's just go to Station Square. No, 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 no. Town Square. That's it. Why did I think of Station? Oh, right, right. I know why I thought of Station Square. The Sonic Hacking Contest is for some reason happening this winter and not in summer. Yes, I'm still a Sonic fan. I can't help it. Even with forces. That doesn't mean all games are bad. That doesn't mean Sonic Mania was bad. And fun fact, I can get up here. I'm trying to showcase it a little bit. And I'm being stupid while I'm doing that. Yeah, so if you fall into certain waters, especially the ones you can't get out of, because the cliffs are too high anyway, you will just drown instantly. Now you go from up there where the, the red gem is between the horns of Spyro right now. You can glide from there up there where the bull is running it back and forth. See the pointy, see the pointy ends. Those were just all gray, in the German version. And that's really weird because uh, this bull was on some artwork posters as well. Why would I? I mean, I know why why they changed that because Europe is somehow for anti-violence and stuff. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Now, I don't know if the English voice acting in this game is actually good or not, but this guy has a weird manner of speaking. Also, he told something very important, that the camera can be turned with the shoulder buttons R2 and L2. And if you, for some reason, didn't hear that. You can replay every dragon you ever freed by stepping on the respective platforms. Now I don't know. I just don't know if some people are... Yeah, so, so, some people have camera issues with this game. With the Spyro games in it entirely. Also if you run them over like this, they will hang like this for a while. Until they finally disappear. I don't know if they're staff or not. And every enemy you defeat that gives you a gem for doing so is someone, something, Nasty Nork has created. Just in order to piss off the dragons. Also, once again, a very important dragon. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Oh, did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? Did you know that you are fat? Like, really, really chubby for a dragon? Now, yeah, this is one of those five, six, five to six dragons that tell you you can glide. Now, this is a matador, and uh, of course, the bull, sca the bull scares him because frogs aren't meant to be matadors. Now, this guy looks mean like an asshole, and if you just walk up to him ever so slightly, ever so slowly, he doesn't look like a threat that much, he will punch you, and it hurts because he is an asshole. It's funny if you manage to get a bull right next to him. Now, where is this guy going? I don't know. It's only the American version that has that issue, because in the Pearl version, those two bulls actually go side by side, one back, one forth, all the time. And if you if you manage to get hit by one of these bulls when you jump over them, you can get up here. You can get pretty high. I I do even believe you can get high enough to go, to go somewhere you, wo you weren't supposed to. Also there is a glitch with a dragon up here but I'm going to get him last. Just so I have a reason to go all the way. 
though he still looks like an asshole, even after I scared him three times in a row. Because he's an asshole, he looks like an asshole, he behaves like an asshole, he punches you like an asshole. He's always an asshole. <laughs> Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief! And he's stolen a dragon egg! You've got to track him down and, and get that egg! Run! Run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded! Yeah, alright, in the German version this wasn't translated that exactly. Almost every dragon is taken over pretty much exactly with, with what they say. Like, literally, literally, they say the same thing in the German version. Now this guy over here is the thief he was talking about. There's only one way to get there. Get up here and fly around the corner. Or else you might you will not have the height. Now the terrain is a little bit slopey. Yeah. That's a good word for it. It's a bit slopey, Sparrow might slide a little. If you get him before the tunnel, it's all fine. If you don't get him before the tunnel, you're fucked. You may even get him inside the tunnel, but Spyro loses a little bit of speed if you go up a hill, so it might not work. If he gets to a certain point, he will just jump down and jump back up, and that's the jump Spyro can't make. I was about to get him, and shit. I fucked up. This is it. You have to go down here, or else he might just wait for you to come down. So yeah, he will go back to the same place he started at, just like that. I used to think that Spyro just was scared of these water fountains, but now I know it's just a prop, it's nothing Spyro should jump on. So for this time, I'm using fire. Now a fun fact is, it's not important how the guy dies, as long as he dies. Assassination at its finest in a spiral game. Oh, I almost fell down there. Now I can take all the time that I need. It's all at ease, I don't have to open a chest with a key or something. Just get everything here. Now, I used to think that roof over there was just a pyramid randomly placed. Like, why is it here? There is no building. I don't see a building. Because I didn't turn on, turn around the camera. There is a building. So, now for the final dragon and probably the most important of the 16 in all the games. Thank you for releasing me. Because he says thank you for releasing me and I'm useless. Yes. And he's he's called Thor. Like why do you call a dragon Thor if you make him so unimportant? And he's not the only one who has an awesome name and is not important at all. Now to the boss level. This boss right here, this boss level right here, this is just a level I love. Now this will be the one that brings our 900 gems to a full thousand if I make it to get every gem in that level. And if you think why, if you ask yourself why I'm jumping around here, I was at this point asking myself why the gems have different colors and are worth different amounts, like... Do dragons have some sort of money in, the, in them? It would make sense, but why is the pink one the most important? Why is the pink one the most worth? It's, it's confusing. And I should stop thinking about that. Even though the later games use that exact concept with money bags and only with money bags i was a little i'm a little confused with it but we all need a greedy fat bear to hate 
Novice level excels in enemies. Like, you, you have two different enemies, like always, for some reason. Or maybe even three enemies, depends on the level, honestly. Now, these dogs are special. These are probably the only enemies who can take more than one hit and are not a boss enemy. Now, they are sleeping, but they are just doing as if. If you go close to them, they will jump on you. Just like that. And they will be pretty fast at it, because you are so close. But if you are at a distance, you know they will jump. And you attack them with fire, because charging doesn't hurt them. Someday I will do it. I mean, I'm looking around here, I don't know why. This was a recording, I don't know, a few hours ago. Yeah, if you if you burn if you spit fire on them and just dodge their attack with either R1, L1 dodge rolls. Which is the only use of them in the entire game. Honest really? Yeah, honestly. The only use of them is dodging in this level. I never used to dodge rolls for anything else aside from dumb rolling off the cliff. But yeah, they take two hits, but if you manage to dodge them properly and not dodge into the, into the area they jump on, you can take them out pretty easily. Once you know how they work, they are pretty easy. Just mincemeat. You need to trigger them and then counter them. Literally. Hey, you... What the fuck, man? You burnt me. I'm gonna smash you into the ground so much you won't even... I don't know, get out of there or they will find you back in China on the other side of a planet. Or something like that. I know the joke was lame and... Badly delivered. That's what happens if you fuck up your audio recording and have to record something new to the same old gameplay because you don't want to play the game for the second time from the beginning in just a few hours. Yeah. That's me. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. Yeah, he has so many tricks up his sleeve, like looking like something entirely different than he actually is. And he's the only boss who does that. Yeah, I, this guy is a marionette. This guy is not what he appears to be. It's just a black sheep on some wooden legs. And I don't know how he operates this thing. Like, the arms and hands work properly. I mean, the guy's mostly harmless, he's just running around. Now you see him. Now you see the black sheep look out of her whole costume. We burned down the costume and he's gone. The, the biggest threat here are the dogs, because they can't attack you if you go near them, if you don't take them out first. I mean, he can hurt you, but if, he's in, if he is in the middle of an animation, you can just attack him, because he's busy getting a standstill. So yeah, that was Toasty. And uh, fun fact, boss levels usually don't have anything to heal up sparks. The dragonfly. So yeah, we are done here. We can go to the next world now. And I'm looking forward to it. I'm eagerly awaiting the feedback. And let's, let's just listen to Marco. Well, I see you have been busy rescuing Dragon Spyro. You may travel to the Peacekeeper's world if you like. So yeah, I'm just gonna go there because here is nothing else to get. I did everything. You can do that with every world 
in the whole game. And this is the only Spyro game who does it this way, from the PlayStation 1 trilogy at least. Because the later games will have something to make you go back, because you can't complete every level. You have to get something else, you have to unlock something else to get going. Now, this is the first dragon of this world, and the first three worlds do this, that the first dragon is telling you what to do to get on. Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us, and stolen. Recover our treasure, Spyro. Collect treasure, got it. Now, this was, this was very simple put. Because... There is a special amount to it, and the dragon doesn't tell us. So I'm just gonna go to the balloon guy, because he can give me more specific orders. He can just tell me how much I need. The magic crafter world is far away and very dangerous. Maybe if you find 1200 stone treasure, I'll show it to you. What? Is it that scary? But yeah, 2, 000, uh, 1200 gems isn't much. I mean, I completed every world in Artisans, so I just need to complete one entire level and I can go on. But I'm not ruling that way. I'm not going back. I'm staying here. I'm staying right here. No, not really. I'm going back to the drag to save. Because, um, yeah, these, these platforms are not only the means to go further into the game, they are multifunctional. They work as your save point, also as your checkpoint. If you ever die, you come back to the last dragon you saved. If not, you start at the beginning of the level. But then again, it's like exiting the level through the pause menu. You keep what you collected. Now I'm gonna save the game and keep this for later. I just want to see how well the first episodes do. If they do good enough, I might go on. Or I might even go on anyway because I love this game so much. Now, see you next time.